A lot of the investigation into what happened to Malaysian Airlines Flight 17 will focus on how the debris fell from the sky. Well, joining me now is Richard Lloyd. He's a former UN weapons inspector who now works for Tesla Laboratories. Joining me now by telephone. Okay, Richard, so we've seen a picture of that initial fireball, uh, presumably when the plane exploded. So what what exactly can we tell from that picture uh, to give us any indication as to what happened uh, to MH Flight 17? What you're looking at is obviously the aircraft had hit the ground. It, it was on a long flight, so it still had a lot of fuel uh, contained in its wings. But what is interesting, when you look at the, uh, the plane coming down and blowing up, is that there's very little to no contrail or no smoke that would suggest that uh, the aircraft was on fire. It actually just uh, destroyed the wings or the cockpit or other parts of the aircraft that would just bring the aircraft straight down to the ground. When it hit the ground, obviously it, it, uh, the aircraft contained a lot of fuel. It just started its very, very long flight and then uh, uh, it ignited. What do you make of the fact that uh, we've seen a picture that looks like it could be from the tail of, of the aircraft, uh, quite a large chunk of it? What do you make of that? If I was in charge or I was looking at this, the Burt warhead or missile contains about a 70 kilogram warhead. And that's very, very large. When we look at warhead design in general, usually these types of missiles have what we call a charge to mass ratio of one. And that means that we have equal weight of explosive and approximately equal weight of fragments. And this is important. And that would mean there's about 77 pounds of explosive, 77 pounds of fragments. This, this missile system probably when it detonated had seven to 10,000 fragments that were ejected somewhere between five to 6,000 feet per second into the aircraft. What we need to do is look at the panels, look at uh, to see these fragment impacts. And, and by finding these fragment impacts, that'll help uh, tell us exactly what missile system. But also, it may provide insight uh, to which direction that the missile came from. Who would have the capability on the ground in the Ukraine uh, to bring, to shoot that type of missile? That's kind of the big question right now, you know, is it Russia or the Ukraine and, you know, and who is uh, supplying who, what types of missile systems? So, you know, I obviously don't know. I'm not a part of the intelligence world, but there are people, I'm sure, that are uh, looking at this very closely to determine, you know, what types of uh, missile systems did Ukraine have? Uh, we definitely know that Russia has them. But the question is, is could Ukraine have them? And, uh, you know, that's a question that's going to be answered uh, as uh, the days uh, fold on. Okay, Richard Lloyd joining us by telephone from Spokane, Washington. Thanks very much for your insight.